You may have read that silicone spray can be used to blind motion sensors without leaving a visible sign of tampering. The idea is that an attacker with brief access to a motion detector during the day could disable the sensor and return at a later time. It's an intriguing idea that can be used in conjunction with social engineering and door contact bypass to access a facility at a later date without having to attack the alarm system as a whole. Unfortunately, in my experience, it just doesn't work. However, I've developed my own version of this method that can be used in a similar manner. First, we need to set up a test with two identical passive infrared or PIR sensors. The range of this model is longer than the distance of my hallway, so I'll start the test from behind a wall. As soon as I'm visible, the two sensors detect me at roughly the same time. In addition to clear acrylic spray paint, we'll need a way of quickly applying a layer of talc powder to the sensor. This will allow us to quickly apply multiple layers of the acrylic without waiting for each layer to dry. To do this, I use a balloon pump that came with a balloon animal kit. I scoop the talc into the pump. To prevent the talc from spilling into your bag, you can melt a bit of wax to form a cap that can be easily removed when you're ready to attack the sensor. Now you have a talc sprayer that can deposit a layer of powder at a distance of a couple feet. When you're ready, spray the sensor with clear acrylic spray paint, then apply the talc. Then repeat for three or four layers. It takes some practice, but this can be done in only a few seconds. When we're done, the sensor doesn't detect our signature until we make physical contact with the lens. The lens now has a frosted appearance, but the casual observer is unlikely to notice the change. Even when seen side by side, the affected sensor doesn't look so different. Now for the test. Immediately, the unaffected sensor detects me. But the affected sensor is almost completely blind. When placed at an angle, the affected sensor does a little better, but we still get within a foot of the device. This is only a proof of concept, and more work is needed before this method can be used operationally. Next, I plan on testing a number of glass frosting sprays to see if we can achieve the same results in only one coat. Like this video if you'd like to see that test, and leave a comment if you have a better idea on how to blind PIR sensors. Thanks for watching.